Hey everyone, my name is Magan, and welcome to Elrond's Lie? <laughs> I think that's how you say it. I probably completely butchered that name. So this is a game made by a company called Rising Lane. So Elrond's Lie is a kind of mystery um, adventure game. It's set in a gigantic uh, cabin in Montana in Canada, I think. I think that's what it said. Um, basically, you have to escape, and your only means of communication um, is with this other woman by phone who's in the kind of same situation as you. You have to try and escape and she has to try and escape and you have to help each other out. Um, so we're just going to start a new story and see how things go. But the from the initial description, the kind of vibe that I got was um, very much in the same uh, style as uh, Firewatch. You know, you have this... Um, person on the other end of the phone that, go to the bedroom yeah you have this person on the other end of the phone that you need to communicate with so it's very narrative driven um, everything looks quite nice though like the music's very soothing yeah I did I did kind of play this a tiny bit just to make sure the camera was in the right position and stuff so I did I do know where to go just to start off so you will see the rest of the game as I progress hopefully so E Press I to open inventory. Okay, uh, it's a cop point three five seven. It only has four bullets. Uh, my smartphone with the phone case that my wife gave me. The key for the main entrance that I got from the owner of this cabin. A mug that I got from my daughter. Calendar I'm going to use for the month that I'll spend here. Okay, cool. So, um, yeah, everything looks looks like I said. Everything looks quite nice. Everything looks a little bit too perfect. It looks like it's not like lived in this cabin. And I don't I don't know. It has that it's kind of a too perfect vibe about it. Okay, E. Put my calendar up. So my mug from my daughter, my calendar up. Right. Press R to answer phone calls. Morella is calling. Is everything all right? Morella? Did you arrive safely? Obviously. Cool. <sighs> Do you remember what I told you? Yeah, but... It's been, what, nine, ten hours since I left? Uh, Twelve, actually. <sighs> this will be a long month for you. <laughs> you have Lucy. She's... Aren't you dating someone? I was dating someone. What happened? He dumped me. Well, you should be glad. He was ugly. What the fuck, Dad? <laughs> You're gorgeous, Morella. Go out there, get a new one, and uh, spread spend the month with him. Is that how Mom found you? By constantly approaching new guys? Um, actually... I approached her. Which was the last time you approached a woman. Look, you're 16. You... My mom was 14. You're not your mom. You're my daughter. And better than that, be patient, okay? Have you seen the tree? I, I just arrived. Will you wait for me? Do you promise not to call me again? <sighs> <laughs> you can do this. You know, we, we've been through worse, right? Yeah. Okay, so Morella is my daughter, apparently. And I didn't like the guy that she was dating. Um, from here on out, I have no idea what to do. So I guess it's kind of just wander around E. Oh, I'm going to go to sleep. I like the music as well. It has a very, um, like, The Last of Us vibe. Just in the solo guitar kind of stuff. Cross out a calendar day. Okie dokie. Um, e. Find and take painkillers. Okay, so it's got to be... Right, so it's Monday, the 2nd of April. So I'm assuming this whole game is going to take place over the course of a month. So I don't really know what's going to happen or anything like that. Uh, uh, okay. Take painkillers. Nom, nom, nom. Let's munch them down like sweets. Okay, unknown number. So it's R to answer. Hello. Aileron? Do we know each other? Aileron, I did get it right. I remember. But you have my number. Along with your name, stored on my phone. 
Oh, you're wondering if we had a one-night stand? Did we? No. Then this is creepy. No shit, Sherlock. Why do you call a number that magically appears on your phone? I, what else should I have done? Call somebody else. 911? Everybody but me, lady. You think I haven't tried that? It doesn't work. I doubt that. What a freaking weirdo. Hmm. So... Yeah. Breath of fresh air wouldn't hurt. Go outside. Okay. So yeah, that's the other lady, I'm guessing. I don't know her name. Also, this is a very weird design for a house. Like, there's stairs. Open stairs, and then like a locked door. <laughs> Same on the other side. Like, why would there be locked doors to open like staircases? That's bizarre. Uh, how do I how do I get outside them? Uh, this looks like a basement, so not that way. Maybe through here. Nope. That is kind of a weird little noise for like the door. <laughs> It sounds like, do you know when you take, like, like um, the lid off, like, a bottle of pills? It makes that weird pop kind of noise. <laughs> so, in the kitchen. Yeah, the kitchen. Look, the countertops look beautiful. Although, there is a lot of, like, lighting. <laughs> it's like I'm in a J.J. Um, Abrams, like, film. <laughs> okay, so there's a key there. I can't pick that up. And there's a big knife there. And I can't pick that up either. Oh, I wonder if I can turn the lights on enough. Nope. There's also no kind of cursor on screen as well, so I don't know exactly, like, where the center is. Strange. I don't remember locking the door. It's because I didn't lock the door. What the hell? Why, why isn't it working? Also, the voice acting is pretty good, actually. I have to say. Uh, Morella. Dad! Morella, what, what's going on? Morella? Lucy? Lucy, I have to call her. <laughs> okay. That seems like a little bit of an over-exaggeration. Like, the voice acting's very loud as well. Maybe that's just because I've got my headphones turned quite up high. Fucking hell, where are my contacts? Ooh, okay. Um, open a window. Well, I want to open that. Oh, I want to open that other window. Fine. Fine game. Fuck it. Shoot a window. This. Jesus Christ. Of course. Bullet fucking proof glass. Where the hell did I pull a gun from? That got. That was random. Do you have something to do with this? I was about to ask you the same thing. I definitely didn't do shit. Me neither. Also, I've got three bullets left. Cabin. Where are you? Glacier National Park. What a coincidence. Were your contacts deleted too? All gone. Why would someone do that? I was hoping you could answer that question. You realize we're in the same situation, right? You have my name saved on your phone, and you're telling me we're in the same fucking situation? My name is Nora. Now it's the same. Hi, Nora. I have no time for this bullshit. My daughter needs me. Look for a map. There's gotta be one somewhere. Why do you know that? Well, every cabin has a map. Call me when you find it. We'll see. Okay, <laughs> every cabin just randomly has a map. <laughs> um, Alright, so we're hunting for a map. Hopefully this won't take too long. But from what I've read as well, this game only has, at the moment, it only has like three puzzles. So I don't know how, <clears throat> how those puzzles are going to work. Puzzles are going to work. Let's see if I can talk properly. Well, that's that wasn't a map that I picked up. That was a key. Second floor. Okay. Also, there is a weird little thing. It's like whenever I go to the inventory, inventory, click on something, and then like click back into the game. Like I can't move left and right, so I have to click into the game again. Which is bizarre. So, uh, yeah, we open up, up we're opening up these bizarre. Uh, doors. So, up we go. Uh, where shall I start? Let's start over here, I guess. Probably gonna be like, nope, pop, <laughs> pop, <laughs> pop, pop. Oh no, it was that one. I want to go over here first, though. 
because I want to see if I can open this door. Pop. No. Um, call Nora. I knew you'd call me. Hey, I found the map, but I can't reach it. What's stopping you? Oh, first puzzle. Glass. Glass? The room is divided by a big ass glass wall, and the map is on the other side. Oh, that's a nice effect. Phone from the last century. I'm not that old. You sound like someone who would use one though. <laughs> Whether you believe it or not, I have a so-called smartphone. That's great. Why don't you take a picture of the map then? Can you do that, Aileron? That's Aileron? Don't forget to send me the pictures. Why would I do that? You still don't trust me? You don't make it easy. You're too skeptical, Aileron. <sighs> and you're a pain in the ass. Uh, press C to go into the camera mode. Okay. <laughs> the most basic of cameras. Um, I guess I'll just take a picture of here. E? Yes. G to enter gallery. Alright, so I'm going to send both... Oh, successfully sent to Nora. Okay, cool. Press M to open maps. First floor, second floor. Alright. Uh, let's answer the phone. Wow, you're a big help, as if I haven't figured that out by now. Says the guy who couldn't think of taking a picture. Shut up. Look, there may be another exit. A secret exit. You want me to rely on that? A secret exit that might exist? Let's say it doesn't. What then? Then we'll starve to death, and they'll find our dead bodies eventually. Call me when you find something interesting. Jesus Christ, lady, you're crazy. <laughs> okay, time to explore. So, at the moment, um, I'm on the second floor, aren't I? Um, I don't know, was that? I don't know, I guess, is this meant to be the child's room? Uh, sec second floor, so, yeah, that's got to be the child's room. The room behind is the art room, and then there's a library. So this is the art room. So I can't get in there, and I can't get into the library either. So I guess we're just heading downstairs for now, because I couldn't get into that door over there either. I like these, I like these little deer. Are they deer? I like these statues. <laughs> so let's see if I can pick up a knife. No. I'm guessing it's going to give me some indication. Like press E over here. When I can actually do something. Because I can't get into any other doors. Maybe I just have to walk around the whole cabin. And these... Are these, like, just big-ass fish tanks? What is that? That could be something later. And... Huh. What to do? Where to go? This looks like a very cosy cabin, though. I do wanna wanna know what happened to um, Morella, my my daughter. She rang me and just like the phone went dead and that was it. So there is that mystery to solve as well. Oh, here we go. Oh, this is the bathroom. I can't even go to the toilet. What kind of cabin is this? Anything in here? Oh, I wonder if it's gonna have like make me do like have to find specific floorboards or something. I don't know. Let's have a look at my inventory. Um, call my phone. Um, no, gallery, I don't need that. Maps. Oh, maybe I meant to go over there? Because that's the only... that's That room has a question mark on it. So, let me get my bearings. It's going to be over that side, isn't it? Oh, but no, I tried that door and I couldn't get in there. Hmm. I couldn't get through this door either, could I? Okay, so at the moment I'm kind of up by this question mark bit. Uh, there's a workshop. Is that the door I'm heading straight towards? 
I can't go there either. God damn it. Clicking does nothing. Okay, let's go this way. So, oh, but this is my this is my bedroom. So there's a workshop. I I don't know how to get to that. Because there was no door on the other side. I am already confused. <laughs> like, it wants me to find something. Or maybe I've got to go up to that door. Where is... Oh, that's got... This has got to be the, the workshop. But yeah, I can't get in there. Okay, cool. Right, enough pussyfooting about. Oh yeah, I want to see something. It has only four bullets. Now, it can't have four bullets because I used one. So it only has three bullets then. I know that. So, I mean, there was nothing else here, was there? And I can't, like, crouch or anything. Oh, god damn it. That's what I needed. Um, art room. Okay, cool. So, <laughs> back to the art room. This is the only thing that I'm might be a little bit skeptical of is that oh shit no I meant to be I was meant to be upstairs wasn't I Bugger. Uh, like you find a key for one place and you gotta travel all the way back across the other side of the the cabin for something else but but no it's okay <laughs> it was literally next door and I'm just being an idiot um <laughs> Morello loves cherry blossoms cool Nora okay Let's give her a shout. Let's see what she has to say. I, I found um, a, a vial, I guess. It's filled with cherry blossoms. A vial with cherry blossoms in it? Yeah, it's what I said. And I said, call me if you find something interesting. Is this not interesting? That's weird shit. This situation is weird <laughs> shit, period. Bulletproof windows, a glass wall in the middle of the room. But this is weird shit? If you figure out how that interesting thing is supposed to help us, you know what to do. Why do I keep calling this bitch? <laughs> Jeez, I'm an arsehole. Okay. So I can't, like... There's no way to combine anything by the looks of things at the moment. We've got a big fat easel of nothing. So now what? I mean, there was that plant pot downstairs in the there you can see it from here and I saw the letter E on it so I guess that kind of, I don't know if I like that or not the fact that it basically it's, it's kind of hand holding you it's telling you where to go next so you're not having to spend time exploring it yourself I mean I assumed that I'd had to come here but this is like the big E <laughs> it just confirmed it can't believe I'm doing that again let me guess idea what to hmm. I didn't I didn't go to call her what Nora's calling yeah what have you found a big jar with a mark and some cherry blossoms in it and now you want to put the cherry blossoms from the vial into the jar that's what I was thinking and then what a secret exit will reveal itself so you can leave this place and ride off into the sunset <laughs> look the secret exit was your idea yeah but that's not how it works hmm. we're not in a Hollywood movie Aileron Aileron that's what you want to do, go ahead, do it. I don't think it really matters what we do. This must be one of those crazy hidden camera shows. Nobody would watch this weird shit. I think a psychopath is playing with us. Oh, that doesn't sound like a Hollywood movie at all. <laughs> Still more likely. And by the way, never dare to hang up on me again. Or I will just never call you again. Uh, what about that? <laughs> yeah, this is weird. Like, obviously it's a vase. But it looks like there's... Like a cherry blossom sticking out through the glass. It's bizarre. I don't understand how that works, but anyway. Ha! I knew it! I, did, I didn't know what happened. Something happened, so I was right. <laughs> yeah. Shows you, Nora. Uh, what did I get? Oh, another key. Ooh, to the mystery room. And that was... That was not here. It was... Shit, where was it? Uh, on the other side. Yes, I remember. It was here. 
Mystery room open. Okay, puzzle. Can I can I call Nora now? Solve the puzzle. All right, I'm interesting. I'm in a room with colored ropes, a glass wall, and a metal ball behind it. And there's another vial, but that's in a glass box. You always find the weirdest shit. But I think I've seen a room with colored ropes, too. Maybe they're connected? I think so. It looks like hmm. we have to cut the right ropes to navigate the ball to the right button. But if we fuck it up, the vial will be crushed. And you, poor thing, won't be able to fill up that jar with your cherry blossoms. I was right. After I put the blossoms into the jar, a secret drawer opened and there was a key for this room in it. Wow, that psychopath put a lot of work into this. The producers of this show did. I still didn't see any cameras. Because it's a hidden camera show? Whatever. <laughs> the thing is, hmm. I, I don't have a knife. This might sound surprising to you. I know where there's a knife. <laughs> Every normal kitchen has a knife. Maybe I don't have a normal kitchen. Maybe you don't have a normal brain. I'm gonna get a knife and you get your ass into that room. I'm on my way, Aileron. <sighs> I won't even bother to correct you. Sorry, I'm not that good with names. <laughs> it's fine. I know you're not doing it on purpose. No, I didn't even know how someone could think that. I have a knife. Knife. Good. I'm in the room now. What exactly is in there? I don't have a box or glass wall, but a wall with four lamps, and I also have, um, seven ropes. Now. The ball is on a blue board, so I'm probably supposed to cut the blue rope. But what if I'm supposed to cut my blue rope? They want us to venture a guess, bastards. Okay, so that's the end of it. I, I was expecting to have to actually do that puzzle. Um, but apparently not. It just ends there. Um, so yeah, that was a lot shorter than I was expecting it to be. Um, interesting, though. Uh, like I said, like I had that very, very much um, that Firewatch vibe where, uh, well, obviously in there you're talk talking over like communication towers, but here it's over the phone. And like I said at the start, you're solving puzzles together. So her puzzles might um, like solve your puzzles, kind of thing. So it's it's very interesting. I don't know how it's going to evolve. Um, it's not a Kickstarter just yet. They do have a Kickstarter page, but it's not gone live. But I will leave a link down in the description below to that if you want to go check it out. Uh, you can get yourself notified of when it's going to like kick off, so to speak. Um, but yeah, interesting. I don't know how I feel about it yet. <laughs> I mean, the voice acting is very good. Um, it went a little wild at the start there. Just like randomly pull a gun out and like try and shoot the window. Um, now, obviously, I know there was distress because like his daughter called him like freaking out saying you gotta come home and then that was it um which is is weird though because how is she able to call him if the phone can only call this Nora person that that doesn't maybe I missed something but that that's a little bit weird to me um so yeah so that is um Elrond's lie uh like I said I'll, I'll leave descriptions down. I'll leave links down in the description below to everything. Um, and you can go play the demo for yourself. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Um, give this video a like. Uh, you can share it on your Facebook or other social media, Twitter, whatever you want. And uh, finally, like, leave a comment down below. So thanks very much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.